as a short Jewish wrestling promoter, I was the villain going into every situation. It just I was set up for it, man. I'm not bitter about it. I'm just stating my 30 plus years of experience in this world. Did you ever consider forming a tag team with Herb Abrams? <laughs> no. Oh my God. You know what? In 2024, we probably could have pulled that off somehow. Dude, Herb, wow. I don't want to go too far down that road, but I had a lot of experiences with Herb and UWF. Herb would have been the poster child for that movement. <laughs> I liked Herb, but um, everything you've read and in, in seen and heard is pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I was just saying that because of the, the, he, I believe he was short of Jewish as well. One thing I, I will say about, we all know a lot of wrestlers are selfish, right? And, and don't give, are all about the payday. One thing that, that I don't understand is like, did anyone actually try and help her? Because obviously he had a serious problem or, or were they just like, let's get all the money we can out of this guy. Or, were any of them actually concerned that he clearly I, had a, a serious yeah, problem. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you for sure that guys like uh, Stevie Ray, if you remember him, um, not the Harlem Heat Stevie Ray, the blonde-haired surfer gimmick Stevie Ray, um, and uh, and B. Brian Blair, um, they really looked after Herb, and they tried. I did three or four shows with and for Herb. Um, I was actually an executive at the Walt Disney Company, moonlighting as the evil, nefarious manager, Rick Golden. So I would go to the Penta Hotel and do the tapings. And, um, you know, because I, I guess, was a Disney executive and had been in the wrestling business, anytime Herb couldn't be found, even though I was not there in a promotional capacity at all, I was always being called to help try to solve the problems. So because of that, I saw like Brian Blair, and Steve Williams for a minute and Stevie Ray all trying to step up and do it. Everyone liked her. He was a very fun, entertaining guy to be around. Um, he was not a bad guy at all. He just, uh, he didn't conduct himself in a terribly professional manner. Put it that way. Yeah. And it seems that his uh, eccentricity was pretty much caused by substance abuse. And maybe uh, if he was clean, it would have gone a lot better. 